Hi there guys, uh, this is my first video. Um, basically my account here is to show you different things that, uh, different cool things that you can do to your own computer to make it even better and uh, nicer to use. Uh, my first few videos are going to be about the object dock, which is this handy little tool here, uh, which you have in most Mac computers, as in uh, actually all of the Mac computers by using it on the Windows uh, you can make maximize your usage of your Windows okay first I'm gonna just tell you basic stuff about myself uh, I'm from Singapore the uh, one of the countries in the Asian part of the world and um, yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> okay uh, um, I like soccer uh, as you can see uh, other than that I'm just gonna skip over to the video tutorial okay uh, today I'm gonna just show you about show you the object doc and the configuration that suits me the most okay first of all um, as you can see I have a custom background uh, um, this can be done uh, actually I'm gonna show you in my next video on how to make your own custom background when you first download the object doc, you're not going to get this, okay? So, you, so when you first get it, uh, the link's going to be in the in the uh, uh, description box, so you can just download it from there. It's a really, really handy tool that it's so good that I don't have to keep a lot of stuff on my desktop, and it's like perfect for my wallpaper that I keep changing now and then. So, I'm going to show you what I have on my object dog and how it uh, makes me, makes it the easiest thing on my computer. Okay, first of all, I'm going to have the start menu over here, which uh, uh, replaces the usual over here style of start menu. Uh, actually, the first thing is the configuration I'm going to show you general is uh, load object jog startup so I don't have to click on it every time I start my computer I'm gonna hide the Windows taskbar because the object doc, object doc pretty much does everything for me and then the language options is just gonna be English miscellaneous is uh, prevent doc to set always on top so uh, it's always uh, on top <laughs> uh, then thumbnails represent images uh, when shortcut is added uh, actually you can just read this by yourself and uh, yeah the attention is the glow effect so that when I click on something uh, there's sort of a glow to it like this the performance uh, actually depends on your own computer whether it's good or not troubleshooting is just a lot of words that I don't really want to read uh, the themes uh, this is actually nothing much the docklets are let's say you uh, delete the start menu by accident you can just come here and click on the start menu launcher and just add it to the docklet like so let's say I delete it and now I got no start menu so I'm gonna add it and there it is and I'm gonna bring it over to that side okay uh, appearance as in the theme uh, I'm gonna show you in my next video so yeah sort of opaque uh, yeah then uh, magnified to 200 pixels and icon size is 25 pixels which is the exact size of the taskbar and uh, positioning it's at the bottom and reserve edge of the screen so that when you open your let's say internet uh, there's sort of a space in between so it the object dog is not covered uh, I like it this way because uh, it's much easier for me uh, you don't need the automatic distance um, I kept it right on the edge and at the center keep it on top for the effects I have the zoom effect which is this the swing effect is not really that nice see yeah 
especially when I like it to be smaller. The width of the zoom is 4 items, as in 4 icons will be zoomed out. Uh, quality and smoothness also depends on your computer. Show running indicators are the... Um, okay, I don't have any on right now. It's the small thing that comes out when you're running something. The dock contents display open windows along with my icons, which are these. Uh, this way you don't have to use the taskbar anymore uh, as they're just open right here okay uh, one cool thing about the object art is that if you click on something that's open it automatically saves the image like so that's pretty cool and then uh, taskbar placement is at the right side which is here uh, represent minimize windows by the screenshots which is like this uh, this I'm not really sure what it is, so uh, I'm just gonna leave it on. And I'll show Windows as thumbnails. It's not really that important. Okay, apart from the configuration, uh, I have my my computer right beside my start menu, my local disk, my personal my personal folder, uh, my team folder. Uh, these two are just my personal stuff, my documents, and my internet on one side of my object doc and then there's a separator right here you can add separators by add and then uh, new separator to separate your icons from each other like so and then in the second portion of my object doc I have all my games and uh, programs that I have for the easy access there's GTA 4 by the way <laughs> and uh, yeah and then another separator and I have all my open uh, open uh, I programs that are running like my messenger my recycle bin my clock uh, the volume and the configure doc uh, you can get the volume icon it works actually pretty well from the uh, just search Yahoo search or Google search uh, uh, apps or icons for your object doc and just search volume and you should find this it's not that hard and that's pretty much the configuration that I have for my object doc and I don't even need my taskbar anymore because of the object doc okay so uh, that's pretty much it uh, so what do you wanna know just comment below yeah, bye.